Marty, the final international break until March. Are you pleased now that there's a clear run of games without the break? We know that it's coming now the, the most important moment probably of the season in the sense that there will not be any, any break. We know how busy is the schedule during Christmas period. And yeah, I would say that now it's coming to the, this moment of the season where it's very important to, to have this stability to achieve the results that we want. When there have been a difficult run of results, is the stop-start nature of the, the early season problematic? You know, I would say that for us, the last international break came into a good moment, especially because of the number of injuries that we got, unfortunately. And it has been a good period for all of us to understand that we had to come back with, with a really high energy, to not look back at what happened, because what happened, it's gone. Yesterday, I think that our captain, Steve Cook, uh, said in a, explained it in an excellent way about where is the mindset that we need to learn from what happened, but not just play with all the time thinking about what, what happened in the next games, the first games of the season, but look into the next one. And I think that that's the nature of, of professional football, of sport, that we need to go through the ups and downs with the same, the same approach, that the most important is the next game, the next action, and yeah, that, that this part of the path to understand that those ups and downs can only make us stronger. So hopefully this international break help us to recover some players, and at the same time, the guys have been excellent this week. They came with a lot of energy and we have been really, really positive about how the week went. I know you study and assess every element of your players. In terms of that, the body language, the attitude, the application, have you been pleased? Top. I can only say that they have been amazing. Since Monday that we start the week, they came with a, an, an incredible energy, training at really high level and it has been just a pleasure to coach them this week. Three game week, how do you feel going into this? Again, game by game, I think my focus is always <clears throat> that the next game is the most important one. And we know that the Stoke, is a, since they changed the coach, they are in a better trend, competing really well. And we know that it's going to be a difficult game. So my full focus is into the, this game as well, because I have some memories from last season. And I really want to repeat uh, the same feeling that we got. It was my first victory as a, as a manager at this club. And for us, it was a very special evening, very special night. The togetherness at the end of the game from the group, uh, the comeback, uh, the late goals and the way we won this game, scoring four goals. So definitely it's a feeling that I would like to repeat tomorrow. You talk about that togetherness. Steve Cook spoke about that togetherness this week. How crucial is that? It's key. And I think that we saw last season. Yeah. So I'm aware that we are in a situation that no one wanted to be. But at the same time, we proved last season that, that it's possible when everybody works in the same direction. And that's why I'm very convinced that this group of players that were here last season were very crucial and key. Uh, will show as well the new guys. And I know that the supporters understand that this togetherness as a club is, is, is probably the most important one from all the elements that are needed to to, to achieve a target, whatever it is, in a football club. So, yeah, through my experience as a manager, you learn that, as I said, there are up and downs, that this mental pain that we go through sometimes, the players have physical pain after the games, it's part of the journey. But the most important is to understand that we are fighting for each other and that, that it's probably the key to achieve what we want to achieve. Steve Cook also spoke about expectation and it almost becoming a bit of a, a challenge because we did so well in the second half of last season and that expectation that we would kick on this season. Has that been a challenge? You remember probably, uh, I, I talked about it during the summer already before we started the season and I said that the biggest challenge of the season will be the expectations because when you do something, I wouldn't say amazing. I think that Steve Cook described it really well yesterday, but I would say something remarkable that it was avoid uh, uh, yeah, in a very difficult situation, avoid relegation and I would say play good football for some, some of the games and, and to manage to create this atmosphere. Obviously, th this will raise expectations. The reality is that we are in a tough league. The reality is that we are not one of the high budgets in this league and that we play against teams that are that are signing very good players, that are competing really well. And at the moment, what we need to do is, as I said, not to look back, but to look forward, to make sure that we raise our level to be able to, to achieve what, what we know, what I'm convinced that this group of players can achieve. Stoke City have only lost two of their last eight, and they have someone in the dugout who you know very well, you played against him as a player. How much are you looking forward to coming up against him? We know, we know each other from our time in Catalonia. He's a, he's a young manager, but with a, already a lot of experience. He has been in different clubs as assistant coach, as a head coach. And yeah, 
a very good guy and I'm going to be very happy to meet him tomorrow. Hopefully uh, he will have a very bad day uh, tomorrow at London and then after that I will wish him a very good luck. And just finally, um, when you look ahead to, to this, the, the first of three games, how important is it that we start the game well? Because as Steve Cook said, he feels like the fans are waiting, almost <laughs> waiting for the players to turn up, if you like, and it's on the players to, to get the crowd going. How key is the start that we make? It's very important, and actually, because we try to analyse in depth our opposition, we know that the Stoke is one of the teams that starts well, usually the games. So that's something that we need to take into account, that it's very important, these first 15 minutes, the way we start the game, as well to, I wouldn't say engage, because the supporters have been fantastic. And for me personally, I mean, the last game against Leeds, in the trend where we are, minute 85, to feel that they were singing my name, it's something really, really special and meant a lot for me. Um, I really want to give them something back and I'm sure that the players know that Yeah, it's very important to start the games with this energy at our pitch, at our stadium, to make sure that we compete at really high level and yeah, that, as I said, hopefully we can repeat the same result that we did last season against, against Stoke.